This is the Oman D10 powered by Fancode. Match day 6 and match number 21 which is to be played between Royal Oman Stallions and Renaissance Challengers. First ball coming up by Hasna and Alisha. Bold him! The off stamps are uprooted. He would have certainly wanted something else here, Hamad Ifraq, and that's too for the ball to disappear beyond the boundaries. But on this blessed Friday afternoon, it's Hasna and Alisha who gets what he wished for. When he woke up this morning, Hasna and Alisha, this is the kind of a start that he would have wanted, and he's got it. He's delivered it. Very first delivery, the stump has been uprooted. Hamad is going to be walking back. So good signs here for Hasna and Alisha. It's turned out to be a great over so far. This time in the air, he's targeting the onside towards deep mid-wicket. And he'll get a boundary to his name. So first boundary for the Renaissance Challengers in this innings and for the day. In the air, Usman is not looking good right now because... He's holed out to the fielder at mid off. Hasne and Alisha in action from ball number one and now in the field. Captain of the pack, Nadeem. And a good lead ball swinging away from Osman. And Osman is done and dusted. Early blows for Renaissance challengers and they look to be in trouble here. The experienced moment, Nadeem. Into the arc. This one's gone up as well. There needs to be a taking. Won't be on this occasion. The ball's traveling. The pace of Mohammed Nadeem has been used by Asif Khan because he's not looked to take a shy and he's making it count here. There's a little bit for everyone. This is pulled and this is pulled well. Everything has happened this over. Looking to hit it through the covers. This is a good shot, very good shot through the extra cover. Wonderful striking from Amandullah. He was looked busy, finally getting some results to his name. How much do you think is a good score on this wicket? Because with Asaf Khan Pathan, they're just going to keep swinging and keep getting runs. Sometimes off the middle of the bat, on other occasions just like this, off the edge. In the air, he's lofted that towards the offside. Cut nicely, ball racing towards the fence. Four runs, much better timing and placement. They are still in the heart. That's gone up in the air. Fielder settles underneath that one. A wicket for Sagar. Brings the end of Amanullah's resistance. And this wicket of Amanullah, it's like a blessing of these guys for Renaissance Challenge because it will be Wasim Ali who will be walking in, but excellent catch taken by Jitain Kumar Ramanandi. 24 of 18, 52 on board. They have lost their third wicket. That's gone up in the air. Clears the infield, but not really. That's a very good catch. Jitin Kumar comes in. Jitin Kumar strikes. And how often we have seen Hasna and Ali taking blinders in the field. It was way away from the fielder. One of the best in the business. If you talk about the catching of Hasnan ul Wahab, the man who was getting those runs earlier, he needs to depart cheaply. Connects well, goes towards that cow corner. What a start to the over from young Nadeem. Wow, what a hit. In the slot, drills on the offside. This is brilliant timing. What a hit. Over the point region, gets a boundary, make that 17 of the over. One more. Fuller delivery, this time converts. It nicely over the point region. One bounce, four runs. Length ball. It's gone up in the air. Third man comes around. Then third man has filled the chance. Must have been missing out on that. Slow delivery. Loud shout. Umpire raises the finger. Well earned wicket this for Hasna and Ali. What an over. All of a sudden. Back off hand delivery. A big heave. Not in command, misses the line completely. A good decision. Ah, if he was looking good. This is what happens. But there's a fielder station. But what a hit. Yet again. Oh, that's a bad miss. That's a poor miss from the wicket keeper. 
A full toss played straight over the bowler. Connects for Wadali and gets the maximum. Is he going again? Thumbed straight down the ground. Has he got that well enough? You bet he has. Two sixes. And with a six brings up the hundred for Inais and challenges. Thumbed down the ground. They will push for the second run. And in the process, they might lose their wicket as well. Well, the red signal says the umpire. This means that the batter was run out. Play says the umpire and Fawad Ali will come steaming in. Look at that movement straight away and the ball keeping a little bit low. This time he picks it up. It's got good elevation and the fielder Nadeem will only be a spectator. Watch it go for six. Empire Mujahid Kotrutkar signals to confirm the same. That's a goner, that's a goner, that's a goner. Yes, it is a goner. Look at that celebration. Elated Fawad Ali, have a look at Ooh. that. Consistently keeping a good line and length. Oh, Shah Rukh Khan departs for six. And that's courtesy one maximum seven for one Royal Oman Stallions. And he's got runs behind his back as well. 150 in this tournament. He's a brilliant bat. He's a brilliant oh. act. In the arc, the wall is up in the air just to warm it off. And we'll have the power to get across the line. So a couple of bounces into the boundary and starts off in style as Karan. And he's bowling well, but Twinayak Shukla will find the boundary. Three fielders catering that area behind square on the offside. There's no particular method to madness in this situation. On this occasion, that ball has missed everything. The bat, the batter. The wicket keeper and more importantly, the stumps as well. Imran continues, or rather, Imran brought into the attack and does he have success right away? Oh, what a catch this one is! Pulled out of nowhere. Imran, take a bow. Never easy running behind. I can't believe, I can't believe my eyes. It is Imran, one of the weakest fielders of Renaissance Challenges with the way he fielded yesterday. And he has taken the catch of the tournament. No catch will be in competition to this catch. What a catch. Take a bow, you beauty. 10 of 9 for Vinayak Shukla. 29 for 2. Royal Oman Stallions. What a wicket. What a wicket to get. Come on. Come on. He is pumped for Wad. He's got the back of Karan Sanavle. What a time to get this wicket. Absolutely delightful stuff here. It's the floating power play, make no mistake. Becomes a victim of some good, accurate and threatening bowling. He departs for 11. Right then, slower ball, change up in pace. It's high and no, it's going to be dispatched out of the boundary ropes. Steps out, knocks him over. What a delivery. That was a typical off-spinner's ball. And Imran gets the better. What a day in the field for Imran. Already taken a blinder <coughs> against Naseem Khushi. Intense game we are witnessing. Naseem managing just 11.45 for the loss of four. This is a clutch moment in this game. What a start to the over. Poor stuff. Never praise the bowler. Commentators curse. Right. Back put a square on the onside. Come on, yeah, Another so poor fielding effort. Yeah. Back to back boundaries for Mohammed Nadim Bali. Shorter boundary. Connects. Connects nicely. Starts off the over with a maximum. What a hit. Glorious hit from the blade of Rafiullah. Well, I tell you what, Mudassir, cricket is a great leveler. Games on. Drill down the ground. Over the head of the long on fielder. Six followed by another one. Long off, long on inside, outside the circle. 
Thumb straight down the ground. That's a good hit by Rafiullah. That's a huge hit. One more time in the slot. There you go. You beauty Rafiullah. What a hit. A glorious maximum. In the air. Is there a chance? Miles up in the air. Fielder settling Ifraq. And he made a mistake. Oh, you poor little Ifraq. What have you done? Wasim Ali to bowl that ninth over. 15 needed of 12 balls. They need a wicket here. Hit hard down the ground. No stopping. Unstoppable. And getting a much needed boundary there. Goes on the onside. Is there a chance? Not really. It's in the gap. Runs are flowing at the moment for Royal Oman Stallions and they are well within the touching distance of winning the game. Picked up on the onside. A flat six. What a way to equal the score. This is Rafiullah show at the Oman Cricket Academy. Go straight down the ground. What better way to finish the game than make the ball disappear. 50 for Rafiullah. And what a timely half century. Showcasing all his talent and skill at the Oman Cricket Academy. Has taken the bowling lineup of Renaissance Challengers to the cleaners. The hard hitting player. One of the fastest 50s of this tournament.